guys, it's Miss Grace with the Pickerington Public Library. Welcome to today's edition of Stay at Home Steam. So today we're going to talk about one adaptation that some animals use to find their food. Now before we get into that, can you tell me what are our five senses? So we have five of them. Let's see if you can name them. Do you know any? So first we have our, something with our eyes, our sight, one with our ears, sound or hearing, one we use with our nose, smelling, one we use with our mouth, tasting, and one we can use with our hands, touch. Now, a lot of animals, when they're looking for food, they will use some of their senses to find food. So a lot of times they'll use their sight or their eyes, hearing, their ears, sometimes they use their nose to smell for food, and sometimes their mouth to taste to see if something is food. Now, once one of our senses animals don't use quite as often, but there are some animals who use it, is their sense of touch. So can you think of any animal that might use a sense of touch to find their food? And maybe why? Why would they have to just use their sense of touch? So some of these animals might live in very dark places, so they can't see. It's hard for them to see their food. So sometimes they've had to adapt and to come up with a new way to find their food. So I have a book here that I pulled from the shelf. This is called A Star-Nosed Mole. Now if you look real closely at this picture right here at this mole, so now this star nosed mole, he lives underground where it's dark and there's lots of dirt all around. So he has adapted and he uses right here, this part of his nose right here to kind of help him to find food. He uses those to feel around, to touch something and determine whether or not it's something that he would want to eat. I'm trying to see if I can find a better picture right here get a little bit closer there for you to see. You see all those? They kind of look like little fingers like we have on our hands. And that's what the star-nosed mole uses to find food. Now, I have come up with a little bit of an experiment for you to try at home. So you are going to try to be kind of like the star-nosed mole. You're gonna to have to adapt and you are gonna to have to try and figure out if something is food or not food by only using your sense of touch, only using your hands. So now to help you with this, what you're gonna need a grown up, so your grown up is gonna go around and they're gonna be really, they're gonna try and be very, very tricky. They wanna trick you. They wanna see if you can do this. So they're gonna go around your house and they're gonna find some things, some things that might be real food that you can eat or something that kind of is similar to food, but it's not to kind of trick you. So I went around my house at home and I gathered up a few things. Now I'm not gonna do this experiment because I already know what this is, I found it. But I'll, to give you some ideas. So I got some play food from my daughter's toys. So here's a piece of corn. It looks and feels kind of like a real piece of corn. There's a pear, a toy pear. But then I also have, I tried to be tricky. So here's a toy, little tiny mandarin orange. And then here, is a real mandarin orange. They look very similar. They're almost the same size. Then you can get even trickier by maybe taking some Play-Doh. I took some Play-Doh and tried to squish it up so it might be like a little tiny pea. It feels a little bit like a pea when you squeeze it. I have some soap on here and just some other things. Now, once your grown up gathers all these things, you can't see them. So they're gonna keep it hidden and you are gonna try your best not to use your sense of smell and to not use your sense of ah, sight. So you're gonna put on a blindfold. So I have a blindfold here. You would put a blindfold over your eyes. I'll give you a quick demonstration. Put the blindfold on, and then the grown-up would set the tray in front of you, and then you would use your sense of touch to pick something up and say, hmm, let me see. This feels square, kind of like a waffle, but is it a real waffle? I'm not gonna smell it. Oh, but when I squeeze it, I can hear air, so I know it's 
a toy. It's not real. It's not real food. So that was just one, one thing that you can do to kind of learn about how animals adapt to find food in their surroundings. Now I got this experiment from this book we have here at the library. It's a pretty new book. It's called Animal Exploration Lab for Kids. And you can check this out. There's all kinds of cool activities that you can do um, to learn all about animals. And behind me here, you can see I have some books here about how animals adapt to their environment. So there's all kinds back here. We have amphibians, birds, reptile adaptations. So if you're interested in learning more about how animals adapt to survive, just give me a call here at the library and I can gather some books for you to check out. All right, so I hope you try this activity at home and see if you can use only your sense of touch to figure out if something is food or not food. All right, bye guys.